Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gorn. In our today's video, we will talk about how to multiply polynomials. In this video, it is important for you to apply your knowledge about loss of exponents and operations on integers. So without further ado, let's do this topic. In multiplying polynomials, I will give you two different properties para magawa natin ito na mas effective. So the first property na bibigay ko sa inyo is that we have the distributive property. Again, distributive property. So from the name itself, alam natin na we will distribute something. So we have here the rep representation of your distributive property wherein if you have a times b plus c, the product is equal to ab plus ac. So kailan ba ina-apply ang distributive property? Ina-apply ang distributive property if your multiplier and multiplicand ay hindi parehas yung number of terms. So as you can see, we have here a as your multiplier and yung bisim naman ay yung multiplicand in which ito ay monomial and the other is binomial. So simply lang, kapag hindi parehas ang bilang ng inyong terms, you will be using distributive property. So paano ba ginagawa siya? So we have here a must be multiplied to b. So you need to distribute a. a times a, it will give you a, b as the product. And a times c, it will give you the product of a, c. So for you to better understand what is meant by distributive property or kung paano siya ginagamit, I will give you three examples for this part of our video. The first example is that we have 5 times x plus 6. Again, 5 times x plus 6. As you can see, this one is a monomial and the other is a binomial. So again, for you to be able to do this kind of topic or for you to overcome this kind of topic, you need to apply loss of exponents and your knowledge about the operations on integers. So the first thing you need to do is to multiply 5 to x. And 5 times x, it will give you 5x. Now, for the second thing you need to do, you need to multiply again 5 to the other term of your binomial, which is 6. So 5 times 6, basically, it will give you positive 30 or plus 30. This is the answer, for example, number 1. Ganun ang kadali, yung paggamit ang distributive property. Now, let's move on with item number 2. So we have here a monomial to be multiplied by a binomial in which kapag ginamit natin yung distributive property, it will become 2 times x, ah sorry, 2x times 5x that will give you 10 for the number and for the variable x, x times x is equivalent to x squared. Again, 2x times 5x, the product is 10x squared. And then, we need to distribute 2x to the other term. You have 2x times 8. It will give you 16 and then x. This is the answer for item number 2. So, I hope na sa first two example natin, you already know or you already grasp the concept of distributive property. So, let's move on with the third example. As you can see, the third example is quite complicated because we have the negative signs and yung exponents ng ating variables ay medyo mahira. Pero don't worry, as long as you know how to apply loss of exponents and operations on integers, you can do it, right? So the first one you need to do is that you have the monomial and a trinomial. As you can see, the sympathy property is applicable. So you have negative 2 times x squared. First, you need to multiply negative 2x squared to the first term, which is 7x cubed, and that will give you a negative answer because negative times positive is negative. And then 2 times 7, that is 14. Now, for the variable part, tandaan natin na, parehas yung base nila. So you have your x, and then add mo lang yung exponents na 2 and 3. That will give you 5. Hindi mo siya kailangan i-multiply. Again, Ina-add lang ang exponents. So next natin gagawin is to multiply negative 2x squared to the second term which is 5x squared. And that will give you, again, a negative answer because that is negative times positive. So 2 times 5, that is 10. 
And then for the variable part, you have x raised to 4. Sir, bakit po naging 4? Because we have 2 plus 2. Okay? And then let's move on with the third term. You have negative 2x squared to be multiplied to negative 12. As you can see, yung dalawang terms natin ay parehas negative. So that will give you the product of positive. And then 2 times 12, that is 24. And since wala naman tong variable, wala siyang variable, di ba? Simply copy x squared. So the answer is x squared. Now for item number 3, this is the answer for it. You have negative 14 x to the 5th power minus 10 x to the 4th power plus 24 x squared. Now let's move on with the next example or the next method that I will teach you on how to multiply polynomials. This time, tinatawag natin siyang FOIL method. But it doesn't literally mean FOIL. Ang ibig sabihin ng FOIL natin ay first terms, second terms, inner terms, and last terms. So how to apply FOIL method? Ito yung illustration natin. We have A plus B times C plus D. And that is equivalent to this expression. Paano ba siya ginagawa? Yung FOIL method natin, yung first terms natin, yung letter F, that is the first terms, you will be multiplying yung mga unang term nila, A times C. Yan yung F natin. Now, for the outer terms, yung O natin, that is itong mga terms sa gilid, that is O. And then yung I natin, that is your inner terms. So, B times C yung pinakaloob na terms, that is I. And then for letter L, it stands for the last terms. Yan yung dalawang terms na sa dulo. That is B times D. So, yan yung I natin. So, it will give you this expression. Now, for, the better un for your better understanding, I will give you two examples to apply FOIL method. So, let's have example number one. We have here x minus 3 times x plus 2. As you can see, yung dalawang polynomials natin are both binomial. So, isipin nyo dito, kailan ba ginagamit ang FOIL method? Ginagamit ang FOIL method kapag parehas yung bilang or kapag we're multiplying two binomials. And actually, literally speaking, uh, logically speaking, we're actually using distributive property. Pero ginamit na natin siya ng pang bagong pangalan. So again, ginagamit ang FOIL method kapag nagmumultiply na dalawang binomials. So how to do it? Una, since FOIL ang ginagamit natin, FOIL. You will be doing first terms. So x times x. Say so yung f mo. So that is x squared. Just natin na konti. That is x squared. Now, you need to deal with the outer terms. You have C x times 2. That is your O. That will give you plus 2x. Now, for the inner terms, yung letter I, you have here negative 3x because negative 3 times x is negative 3x. Now, for the last terms, yung letter L natin, you have negative 3 times 2 that will give you minus 6. And don't forget na when you are doing FOIL method, kailangan mo isimplify lagi yung dalawang, yung second sa yung third term. So combining like terms, this will be simplified as x squared minus x minus 6. This is the product of x minus 3 times x plus 2. Okay? So let's move on with the last example. Applying the FOIL method. We have here 3x plus 2 times x minus 1. So applying FOIL, you have F, O, I, L. First terms, you have 3x times x. That will give you 3x squared. Now for the outer terms, you have 3x minus 3x times negative 1. That will give you negative 3x. Now for the inner terms, your I will give you plus 2x. And then for the last terms, for your L, 2 times negative 1, 
their product is negative 2. And simplifying your inner terms, you have 3x squared, and that will be negative x or negative 1x minus 2. This is the product of our last example. So, I hope na natuto kayo sa ating lesson today. And if you have any request na gusto nyong gawa natin ng video, you can comment down below para makita natin kung ano yung kailangan yung topic. Now, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, hit the subscribe button, at hit mo na rin yung bell button para update ito sa ating mga future uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!